Cameron Usman's next welterweight title defense is expected to be against Colby Covington, but the Nigerian nightmare is also open to a fun fight with Nick Diaz, who is poised to make a comeback this year. Diaz will return to the octagon after a six-year hiatus and, if he's still able to compete at a high level and prove himself as an elite mixed martial artist, Usman is willing to offer the former Strike Force champ a title shot. We don't know how Diaz is going to look, Usman told TMZ Sports. At the end of the day, if you got everything in order and he's able to compete, that's always a fun fight. Nick Diaz. Imagine, Nick Diaz at the top of the bill once more. Nick Diaz fighting for the title. That's a humongous fight. Hopefully gets his faculties and everything in order, and if he's able to do that, Nick is able to come in and do something spectacular. Of course, that's always a fun fight. Usman recently defended his welterweight title by dispatching up Jorge Masvidal in the UFC 261 main event, and, if he beats Covington a second time, the reigning champ will have virtually cleared out the entire division. Diaz, therefore, presents an opportunity for Usman to diversify his resume by beating a legend of the sport. That's too much to ask for, clearly, it's fine. I was just asking. And, and we always, we are always giving a fair shot to everyone. Everyone. It is our job. I understand that you've done that. I'm just saying, in this man's experience and what I've witnessed, some things don't seem quite level or fair or just. And when my name has been slandered, when this man's name, legacy, and his career that you would so admire has been slandered, but that part doesn't matter, that's what I'm saying when I'm here helping at the end of his career. That's all. That's all. Okay. And I say this out of respect for this same man. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though nobody gives a shit. That's the point, man. Like, I care about him just the same as you say you care. And you're not respecting me for doing that. Yeah, watch his last fight. You can see why that hurt his feelings a little bit, you know? So. But, but on top of it, that's, if, that's if, all. if the media is yeah. going to... Totally, listen, that's yeah. totally understandable, but delivering the message could be in a much... When is the message going to get out? Wait, 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 wait
Up next, a middleweight bout, Christoph Jocko takes on 15th ranked Sean Strickland. Light heavyweight matchup is next. Dustin Jacoby takes on Iwan Kutelava. Featherweight matchup is next. 15th ranked Cub Swanson takes on 14th ranked Giga Chikadze. Great co main event matchup between Cub Swanson and Giga Chikadze in our main event, five rounds, light heavyweight division, fifth ranked, Yuri Prohaska takes on the third ranked, Dominic Reyes. Top five light heavyweights in the main event tomorrow night, Yuri Prohaska and Dominic Reyes. We will see you on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. He was winning world titles when you were in diapers. Yeah, when? When, when you were in diapers. Yes, when I was injured. I remember. Yeah. 2000, 2011. No, no. Ah, it's yeah. the first world champion. Come on, Strike Force. Strike Force is like... Strike Force, we won, we won all the champions. Don't strike force. Oh, no, strike force is like okay. <laughs> it's not bad. No, no, strike force had some great I'm fighters, I'm man. Sure. I agree, but yeah. myself, Cormier. Okay, From I have question. Law. I have question. Yes. Eleven, two thousand eleven, yes. when he wins he world title. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Who was best on the world? Middleweight. Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. How he can become world champion if you not don't beat Anderson Silva? Well, they're different organizations. Come on, that's why I say it's okay. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs>